What's up everyone? Welcome back to another short nasty episode of the Tight Squeeze Project. Now I'm going to get stuck in today into making my shop towel brace and what I'm going to try and do is incorporate that with my radiator mount for the back. So that's going to be interesting. I've already been playing around a little bit with some PVC and I think I've got a plan that's going to work and I'm able to tie in my harness bar safely at the correct angles and make it nice and strong. So I'm very happy with that and I'm excited to get stuck into it. So let's do it. And I've kind of come up with a plan. I'm playing around with a bit of PVC because it's cheap and easy. Uh, basically, as you can see, I've got about uh, bit ahead of myself and I plan to run my brace from my shock towers right across there. Now that was all good and that was my original plan uh, until it didn't work. So I had to make a new plan. Now my new plan is this. Coming off the top of the shock tower with a cage joiner here and then across here this is my radiator support and this just brings it up to the right height which is good enough it's level with the bottom of the window which is perfect uh, my radiator is going to sit on there nicely and the cage joiners from rough stuff uh, these I decided to use here so I can undo these and take this piece out if I ever want to get the body off uh, which no doubt I will at some point want to pull it apart and um, do some repairs or whatnot because it's nice and easy to do so that's what I've been playing with. PVC is a very cheap and easy way to actually knock things together and see what it's going to look like and uh, I'm happy with it so I'm going to start making it out of steel. Wish me luck! I even went out and bought a new drill just to notch with and it was the cheapest drill I could find for like less than 50 bucks and it's got a two-year warranty so it's unfortunate for them because this drill is going to get a hard time <laughs> looking forward to see if it keeps up let's do it here we go first notch ever with a brand new drill Lucky it's got a two year warranty because I think it's going to be a very long two years. Or I'm going to give up on it and just pay the money I should have and just got to go back. We'll see. Notch number two. Hasn't even got enough grunt to get through what we need to. I've looped it. Still doesn't want to play. It's got no low range, so we're just trying to do everything in high range. And you know how that works sometimes, so. Um, might be a trip down the road coming up. Go <laughs> and swap it for number two. Maybe we'll get one drill for every one and a half notches. It's going to be a long day. Let's go to cordless just to get the job done. And the cordless gets the job done. Well, this one still sits here. Smoking away. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I kind of saw this thing yesterday and I went, it's less than 50 bucks. It's either going to work or it's not. So, this is the part of the episode where I provide you guys with some free entertainment. I'm going to attempt to TIG these roll cage joiners onto the steel. And I haven't touched a TIG in probably about two years, and I was never very good at it 
to start with. So this might get interesting really quickly. Wish me luck, don't laugh too much. Now, as you can see, one, I cheated, and two, it's way too hot. So uh, yeah, not just like riding a bike, you need to get some seat time in uh, regularly to, to keep your skills up when welding, unfortunately. It's all good. Maybe I might use it a little bit more. Maybe I'll jump back on the MIG, such as life, and glue steel together. As long as it holds, I'm happy. There's a couple of rules you need to know when you're welding. One, turn the music on first. Two, get yourself comfortable. And three, enjoy what you do. Otherwise, it's not gonna go to plan. So yeah, that's my advice for the day. And I'm gonna carry on to the next one. Now you recognize these cage joiners that I put in here. This was to hold this top bar across here. Just gonna hold my radiator in place. And because this is my strut brace, so to speak, I've put this in here, just to give a bit of extra strength and uh, make sure nothing twists out of place. We are very happy with that. Nice and simple, does the trick. And if we come around here, well, look at that. One TD42 Safari radiator. I had to massage it a little bit just to get it in there. Very happy. Finally ticked it off the list, which is cool. Um, I'm actually going to run a couple more bars forward. And then one bar is going to run across here to there and that's going to be my harness bar and then I'm going to run some down to the floor and back to that and that should be plenty strong enough it's also going to brace this part of the body because obviously there'll be a, a bit of pipe going from this side to that side so it kind of adds a little bit of extra strength in there not much but such is life I'll put it on some uh, plates like this and then if anything does hit it the pipe doesn't punch through the thin wall stuff it uh, takes the load and spreads it on the plate so I'm very happy got something done some progress is better than none that's for sure So what you've just seen me do here is my harness bar and I thought about this quite a bit trying to figure out what exactly I was going to do. Um, obviously I've put the plate on to strengthen it and stop the pipe from punching through the thin panel steel. Um, but to do that alone is never going to have much strength. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is run some pipe from here back to our strut brace so then that's locked in to there and it's all going to end up super strong and that should give me plenty of strength for running my harnesses off it it's also going to put a bit of strength in the side of the cab if I do ever roll over uh, even though I will have an external roll cage on but worst case if everything collapsed this is still going to hold the body up a little bit. Everything else will crumble around it. It's a Suzuki. Who are we kidding? Yeah, I'm happy with that. A bit more progress is good. It's all cool. I'm happy. This is all turning out rather nicely. And uh, yeah, it all went together quite well. It's all nicely welded on there. Obviously, all the way down there. Beautiful. Let's get on to the next bit. Right, so what I've done now is I've added uh, my braces in. I've tested out uh, the driver's side harness. It fits all good. So now I'm just welding these braces in here. And that's in line with the guard, which is cool. And it's gonna make a lot of strength. So obviously this one needs to go over here. 
but yeah very happy with that and then I've got sort of storage on top if I need it and access with the windows so very very happy let's get it done